This is Better Together, <laughs> seeing YouTube, take one. Is it this oh, can you see my socks? Okay. okay. Wait, where are we? Which camera? This one? Yeah. So I'll say hi, it's Mark, and then you mm -hmm. say Claire again, because your name's Claire. Okay. okay. Hey, it's Mark. And it's Claire. No, that's not weird. Let's do it all over again. He's telling you to pump the brakes. He's telling me to shut up. Pump the brakes, Mark. Okay. You can lick people. One last time. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Margaret. And Claire. And welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be answering questions so you can get to know the two of us just a little bit better because we want you to become the CEO of your health and life. So don't forget to subscribe. So what's the question? Yay. What is the biggest challenge I find as a mom? Oh my gosh, what a loaded question. Uh, I think the biggest challenge for me is, is always trying to adapt and meet them where they're at. Whether th when they were little, now, you know, I've got growing, a growing man that lives on his own. I've got a, a, a daughter going off to university. And it's really trying to evolve and adapt to meet them where they're at. Even though when I look at their faces, I still see those chubby cheeks almost etched in my mind like when they were three but they're not that anymore. And so I think even though it's a challenge, it's one I take um, full on and love, is really trying to grow with them and meet them where they're at and become, not just become their friend because I'm still their mom, but become someone that they truly do want to spend time with and I want to spend time with them. So that requires, yeah, adapting. Mm -hmm. I'd probably say the same for sure for myself. I know for me it's been a really big learning year because I've got one in first year university. So I think it's learning to let go is the biggest challenge and letting them know that this is their journey because it is and that I have done, we have done um, the best job that we can to this point and, and allow them to just make their own choices and decisions. You know, sure. I so agree with that. Yeah. It, it's such a hard question because there's so yeah. many things, there's, there's so, so many much. challenges, but you yeah. know what? You're absolutely right. Letting go. Yeah. I'm not ready in yeah. September it's to fine. be an empty nester. I'm yeah. not ready, yeah. but it's coming anyway. So yeah. we're going to have to let go and breathe and believe and meet these kids where they're at. How do you feel about middle age? <laughs> oh, well, that's like, what How is that? How do I One feel about that? middle age? First of all, <laughs> what, <laughs> what is middle age? Yeah. I feel like define you know, middle age. Yeah, define middle age. You know what I feel like? I feel like um, I'm getting better with age, and I don't say that in a cheeky way. I I really, you know, I'm going to tell a, a little bit of my own personal struggle here. In my teens and early 20s, I went undiagnosed for years with a severe illness, and a lot of those young those young days were ripped out of my hands because I was struggling to get answers and I was in pain and it was disruptive and I wasn't the person I wanted to be and it was really, really, really hard. Here's what I've found as I've gone through the stages, through your 20s, through your 30s, through your 40s. I can't speak for her because she's not, she doesn't have a five in her, in her, uh, in her number yet, but I do. The older I've gotten and the more I've walked the journey and and faced those struggles and rose from them, I feel stronger and I feel like, bring it on. Like this, this is where I wanna be and I can't wait to see what the rest of my 50s and my 60s look like because, because we are in control of that. And if we put the work in and we let go and we surrender things that, that don't matter, Every age can be even better. So I actually love middle age. When I think about middle age, when you say it that way, oh my gosh, it's not something that's mm -hmm. really that exciting. But when I really think mm -hmm. about where I'm at and where I'm going, bring it on like a good bottle of wine. We're getting better. Yes. Yeah, for, same, like for me, I mean, I'm not quite 50, but I'm in my late 40s and I'm super excited to be where I am right now. I really am. I, you know, I feel great. I'm excited about my future. I think it's a great place to be. I, I love it. I really love it. I feel super empowered as yeah. well. And you know what's really yeah. exciting? We're so excited that we're sitting in these seats and we're gonna be able to share our journey with you because yeah. we wanna learn from you too. And we wanna inspire and not just inspire, but empower you to also embrace any age or stage you're at. You know what I believe? I believe we deserve to live well till we don't. And that age is just a number. Am I, rest my father's soul, he died at 88, but man, did he live right until his last breath. And that's what I'm here to do. How many children do you have and what are their ages? 
Oh, we both have two kids. So let me go first. So I have a 24-year-old son named Blake. Handsome. Really oh, handsome. stunning. Like, I know it's going to totally really embarrass handsome. him. But then again, why do you have kids if you can't embarrass them? Uh, yeah, Blake is unbelievably handsome and um, such a just a good man. Just a good man. And then I have this gorgeous... Um, daughter who's almost 18. Um, I learn from her every day. Um, we laugh together, we cry together. She rolls her eyes at me on a regular basis. But I, I learn from my kids so much and I love, I'm, I was blessed to have any kids. I was told I wouldn't have any, so they're six years apart. Almost like having two only children and I'm an only child. So it's been kind of cool to experience that with them. But each of them have taught me so much, not just about parenting, but about who I am. And that's been cool. And mm -hmm. you're gorgeous girls, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have two daughters. Uh, Lily is 19, she'll be 20 in 2020. And then I have a 16 year old, Gracie. Yeah, and she'll be 17. Uh, my best work so far. There's no question, my best work so far. Where do you get your strength from when times are hard? Mm -hmm. Where do I get my strength from when times are hard? Oh boy. You know what, this is something I've had to practice a lot lately. Everybody goes through seasons, and I gotta say, I've been in quite a season for lots of different reasons. I get my strength from knowing where I came from, and looking back and celebrating the fact that even though I've stumbled and fallen and failed on time and time again, that I rise up and I lean forward and I do it again. I get strength from um, self-love which I have to continue to work on every day because I like to beat myself up. I'm a recovering perfectionist, but I am finding the older I get, I'm getting strength right from here. But for me as well, I get a tremendous amount of strength from my family. I'm a, a big connected family person. I had the best, I have the best parents in the world. I've got an amazing husband and children that support me. And uh, even in the ugly, because there's been a lot of ugly, um, but I, I gain a lot of strength from them. And then lastly, as a professional, I gain a lot of strength from what I do, this, from the people I treat and who I learn from. It really isn't just a simple answer and it's always evolving, but I, that's where I get my strength from. Mm -hmm. How about you? Yeah, you know, I would pro I'd have to say the same. I think for me, um, where I get my strength from, uh, for sure, is, um, is my community and my family and my girls and everybody around me. Um, but I, all, I'm, I do a lot, of, I do a ton of self-care. I do it every day, every morning. You know, we both do. We're very religious in that, so that helps. But the other thing I think probably as well, and going back to what Margaret said, I a lot is put into, into perspective for me when I'm in the health profession, uh, identifying with the fact that, you know, I spoke, you know, about clients that are not well. Um, I, I get my strength from knowing that things can always be worse. Oh, indeed. Mm -hmm. Indeed. That we're pretty blessed. We are. What's a bucket list item? Oh. A bucket list item. Well, I've already checked one off. I wanted to jump out of an airplane and raise money for charity. I've done that. I've jumped out of an airplane. But my son wants to do it again with me because he couldn't do it. He was too little when I did it. So I think I'm going to jump out of an airplane again and raise money for charity. Are you going to jump with me? I'm not that brave. Oh yeah, yeah no, are. I'm not that brave. Yeah. I'm not. I'm yeah. really not. I'm really scared of. Oh, I was scared to death. Yeah, yeah. scared to death. Yeah, that's no, kind of. I, I I do love leaning into fear. Yeah. I love to push through fear. But what's yeah. a bucket list? Uh, what else do I want to do? I, you know, it's not just one thing. I so have a travel. Mm -hmm. I wander lust. I want mm -hmm. to travel. And, you know, I really would love to travel and do more of this, you know, this where we're able to to teach and empower and have fun while we're doing it. I can't think of just one bucket list thing. Do you have one bucket list thing? No. I keep changing my bucket list because every time I think I'm too old to do something, I think, well, why not? I could I'm still just do that. excited. Yeah. About yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about everything. I'm just so excited. <laughs> okay, so Claire and I have now poured out some of our hearts to you and told us a little bit about our story. But, you know, really, this isn't about us. It's about you. So we want to know what you want to know. What are you struggling with? What topics would you like to know more? When we, when we want to empower you to become the CEO of your health and your life, what fires you up? What, what do you want us to bring to you? Do you want to know about relationships, about health? Is, are there certain struggles you're experiencing? Is it, is it in your home? Is it relationships? You tell us because this show is going to be all about you. Of course, we're going to sprinkle in there our, what we do and what we love, and, but we really care about knowing your feedback um, so that we can build community with you. What do you think? Mm -hmm.
hundred percent. That's the goal. Yeah, I think we, we collaboratively have enough experience between the two of us. We've been through enough together that hopefully we can uh, we can bring some true mentorship and some inspiration and. And we want to learn from you. So the more yeah. questions you ask us, That's the right. more we're going to learn from you. Because yeah. we're going to bring guests to the show. We're going to be on location. We're going to do all kinds of fun things. So please mm -hmm. reach out to us. Follow us on all the social channels. And yeah. make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe mm -hmm. to our YouTube channel. Because then every time some awesomeness drops, a new video drops, you're going to be the first to know. Mm -hmm.